Welcome again. In this video I'm going to show you some very cool stuff. Um, basically by using your periodic table you can calculate the lattice parameter or the covalent radius of the material. All you need is basically the molar mass, the density and the crystal structure of the material and everything else is just basic uh, geometry. So it's very simple, but uh, it's a very powerful tool or method to get these parameters. So basically, uh, we know that uh, density equals mass over volume, right? And uh, if we take our periodic table of elements, uh, we usually can get the molar mass and the density, but we, we don't have the volume, right? So we can rearrange the equation into uh, the for, for the volume. So we have the volume and uh, that equals uh, mass divided by the density. But uh, this is just some general formula. So let's take our values. So the volume will be equal to the molar mass divided by the density of the material but here we have to use the Avogadro constant to make the density into a molar quantity basically and uh, as you know that this number equals to basically 6 times uh, 10 to the 23rd power so this will be an important number for our calculation. So now uh, we have a formula for the volume. And uh, actually this volume is uh, the is equal to the so-called Wigner Zeitz volume. Uh, I write it down. Which is basically the the average volume per atom in a solid material. And then the Wigner Zeitz volume has a very simple formula. Let's uh, use it as a W. So this is basically a volume of a sphere with the radius called Wigner Zeitz uh, radius. And then uh, this uh, volume is the average volume per atom in solid. Exactly the same thing that we calculated here previously. So we can say that uh, V equals W, which means that uh, M over rho times MA equals to four thirds times pi times uh, w on the third power. So we can rearrange this wall equation and uh, express the w from this. So we can calculate this uh, Wigner Zeitz radius with the following formula. So this is uh, our first formula which will lead us to the lattice parameter. So now we know that the average volume per atom in solid is related to this uh, Wigner Zeitz uh, radius. And now we know that uh, most of the metals are simple cubic structure materials, which means that uh, their unit cells can be represented by a cube and then the atoms are arranged in some uh, different arrangement. But uh, let's take an example as a FCC, so face-centered cubic uh, material. <coughs> and. Uh, let's determine the volume of this cube and as we know it's just we have the same edge length everywhere and the volume of the cube 
it's basically a to the third power. So, if uh, if we would like to uh, relate this a to the w, so the lattice parameter basically to the Wigner-Zeitz radius, uh, we can do the following. So we have one sort of volume, right? We have this cubic volume, let's call it cu cubic volume, I don't know the perfect expression for this. And uh, we also have the Wigner-Zeitz uh, volume, which is a W. And then in this case, let me put here an N. This N is basically the number of atoms in this cubic cell. And uh, by, using, uh, by equating these two equations, we get the following. So A equal N times 4 pi divided by 3, and then the rest. But we need this N. So let me show you something here. So we have our cube. I will show you how to determine the number of atoms in a unit cell for an FCC material, face centered cubic. So we have our unit cell like this. Let's make it transparent. So each corner has an atom, right? Everywhere. And there are eight corners in the unit cell. So we have corners, but at each corner we just have the one eighth part of an atom. So one eighth times eight, which is one. And then the face centered cubic structure, as its name suggests, has atoms on the faces as well. So you have this and this face, right? And then you have this and this face here, right? And then you have this face in the back and this face in the front, right? So you have faces and uh, we counted six atoms, but one atom belongs to two unit cells, which means that uh, in total uh, we have six faces but only the half of it belongs to the uh, unit cell and this will make it 3. So in total n equals 1 plus 3 which is 4. So let me uh, use this formula. So we know now that a is 16 pi divided by 3 like this, for FCC. So now we know the lattice parameter, or lattice constant, uh, for FCC material using the density and the molar mass and uh, some geometry. But we can go forward. Let me draw this cube again. So, right now we are not interested in these faces here and here, but on the front part. I hope I can draw a nice circle. So, if you check the face of the material, then you have one atom here, right? Uh, this is a full atom. And then you have one eight in the corner, and then in the other corner, and then the other corner, then in the other corner. These uh, circles sh uh, supposed to touch each other, but I cannot draw nicely. So let me draw a triangle here. So 
So let me call this the A edge and then this will be the C and this will be the B. So we know the length of the diagonal is basically this is 1R so the radius of this atom and this is 2R so the diameter of this atom and we have another R so the radius of this guy here and we also know that we can write down A equals to B and we also know that C equals to 4R right and then Since this, since this is 90 degrees, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. theorem. So a squared plus b squared is c squared. So we have this formula. We have these two numbers, right? And uh, a and b is basically the lattice parameter. So what we can use from this drawing and uh, from this geometry is the following. Uh, a squared plus not b squared at this time but a squared just to make them simple because a equals b equals to 4r squared so basically uh, I wrote down this again but using uh, other parameters and then we can further go and do the following 2a squared this is this term equals 16 times r squared so we can get this r square root of 2 divided by 4 times a This is the so-called covalent or sometimes called atomic uh, radius and uh, yeah this was the lattice parameter. So finally we have this value as well. So to summarize it again uh, we started from the periodic table of elements we had our density we had our molar mass and uh, we could go to the lattice parameter uh, by using simple geometry and then from the lattice parameter we could go to the covalent radius also by using simple geometry and this uh, thing can be repeated for BCC as well and for HCP as well or for any for any cubic structure as well and I will show you this in a later video so now based on the previous summary uh, I will show you some calculation for a real material so for example let's take nickel we know that uh, nickel has an FCC structure, face centered cubic structure, and then we know the following details the density, gram per cubic centimeter, and we know the molar mass, and as a reminder, let me write down the Avogadro's number perfect so from the previous uh, slide we know that the volume is basically mass divided by density so we just do our simple calculation So we divide uh, the mass with the density uh, 
times uh, the Avogadro's number which is and then uh, we see that gram falls out more falls out and we simply left here with the following number 1.094 times 10 to the minus 23 and uh, cubic centimeters so this is basically the average volume per atom for nickel and then now we can uh, calculate the Wigner Zeitz radius so this uh, sorry simply the Wigner Zeitz radius which we already know the formula so this will be one point three seven seven times ten to the minus eight centimeter but you can uh, convert these units if you like it better uh, it's basically 137.7 picometer I just write it out uh, if my pronunciation is not perfect or 0 0.1377 nanometers so finally we have the Wigner Zeitz uh, radius once again we can go and uh, jump to the lattice parameter which is A and we know from the previous formula that A is basically 16 pi divided by 3 times 1.377 let's use Ohm's term now to the third power and then this will be equal to 3.5 Ohm's term or if you better like then 352 Uh, 352 uh, sorry this will be picometers or 0 0.3526 nanometers this is the lattice parameter and from the lattice parameter we can go to the covalent radius r which we know that this is square root of 2 divided by 4 times the lattice parameter then uh, this is basically 1 point 24 58 function or 124.58 uh, picometers or 0 0.1258 nanometers which is the R so I checked these values and uh, both of them are spot on so lattice parameter is basically the same in any database and the covalent radius is also 
roughly the same uh, for the covalent radius. Sorry, I missed the 4 here. So, we, we could see that uh, based on the previous slide, we could use the geometry and some data from the periodic table. And in this slide, we picked some element, nickel, from the periodic table, used the density, used the molar mass and the Avogadro number and some geometry to calculate the wigner zeitz radius, to calculate the lattice parameter and to calculate the covalent radius. And these can be very nice exercises for university students or students who are interested in material science. And as I told you in the previous slide, this calculation can be also applied for body-centered cubic material or hexagonal closed peg material or other cubic structures. You just have to know the uh, relationship between the geometry and the properties like lattice parameter or covalent radius. So once you know this, you can calculate the parameters based on the uh, density and molar mass. I hope this video was useful for you and uh, I hope you see you next time.